concerned. A lot of subscribers have brought this to my attention that Insurgency Sandstorm is losing players. When they all told me, it was like, what? That just really caught me off guard. Because back when I used to play Sandstorm, I remember having a lot of fun. So it just really hit me when I heard that they were losing players. I mean, the people over at New World Interactive are good developers, or at least I haven't heard anything bad about them. So I was thinking, well, it can't be like a scandal or anything like that, right? So I thought that I would hop back into the game to see if there was anything that was blatantly obvious. Oh uh, shit, he knows who I am. Oh no. You know, to see if there was anything that was there making people leave. Shit! No! Well, it's not the gameplay. I'm having fun! Holy shit, bro. Fuck you! No! Shit! So I'm over here scratching my head. Why are people leaving? Then it hit me. This game is the same as how I left it. Oh, There hasn't been any major updates. Like, I know that there was a couple of guns that were added and noticeable optimization fixes because the game felt like it was running better this time around. But to anyone that's just looking on the surface, it just seems like the only thing that's new is Team Deathmatch, which I always thought that Insurgency Sandstorm was always teetering on tactical and arcadey, but with the new addition of TDM, it kind of changes my opinion. I asked other people that were a part of the community to gauge their thoughts. Insurgency Sandstorm's TDM is good. More the fact that it's fast paced and ready to be enjoyed by newbies. It gets newer players and vets alike into combat fast and is a much more simple premise for those that can't follow the main game. It's a good decision to emphasize the fact that it's a fine border between casual and tactical, something that a lot of people do question with Insurgency Sandstorm. They can find that pretty easily with this game mode being added. Currently, there are a few unresolved issues in Insurgency Sandstorm Team Deathmatch. One, the teams don't balance themselves. The teams are not equal when it comes to players. Two, in specific instances, sometimes bullets won't reach or hit a player when you shoot directly at them. Three, some of the maps are too large and it can be difficult to find players in small matches. On the other hand, Team Deathmatch can be a great gameplay mode to practice accuracy and movement skills. One of the problems with TDM and Sandstorm is a lot of times you load in and there's no players at all. 5v5 at best, because I don't feel like it's one of the most popular modes in Sandstorm. And one of the reasons why is because I feel like the maps are way too big for this mode. So I feel like if they could balance out the maps a little bit more, make it a little bit smaller. All in all, it's a fun mode. You know, all guns are unlocked. You can just try out weapons against other players for, you know, the other modes. Insurgency Sandstorm to Deathmatch is a good mode to play after playing a few normal game as a turn off your brain and just shoot kind of mode. But it's actually not, I don't feel like it's very Sandstorm or Insurgency. Sandstorm's new TDM game mode turns what wants to be a tactical war shooter into a run and gun COD styled game. In my first game I was killed upon spawning a total of 5 times. It feels less like a team focused game, instead of a 5v5 it's a 10 man free for all with 5 people not shooting at you. It feels like the devs have struggled to keep a consistent play account with their original idea and decided to resort to the basic political economy focused gameplay in order to make some figures. If they want to excite people and bring back a player base, they need to focus on their good game modes, that being co-op. The game mode is rushed and not a lot of effort has been put into separating it from Call of Duty multiplayer. The poor spawning and the lack of emphasis on team driven gameplay highlights this perfectly. I was honestly shocked to see Team Deathmatch in a game which prides itself on tactics. Not one person was asking for this mode. The community even made a petition to get ambushed into Sandstorm. The problem with TDM is that Sandstorm's maps were designed to facilitate domination style game modes. You've got a ton of flanking routes and all that, but it's still going to be funneling people into a specific point where all the firefights are going to be taking place. TDM doesn't have that, so people are going to be running around missing each other because they're in all different parts of the map without even realizing it. Let's look at it this way. Quake has these complex maps with a ton of verticality, but Deathmatch works because players are still funneled into specific locations to fight. They're going after that railgun spawn, or that rocket launcher spawn, or that quad damage, or what have you. Deathmatch works in a game like Call of Duty because the maps are generally smaller, so you don't have the issues of all these lanes or all these different pathways kind of 
separating players. It's usually just three lanes and that's it. Titanfall has large maps with a ton of verticality to them, but they fill out a lot of that unused space with NPCs like the grunts and the specters and other stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about if you can't find a player because you still got something else to shoot at that will still get you points and get you closer to your Titanfall at the end of the day. Honestly, there's probably some more to it than what I just laid out, but I think that's the chief reason why Deathmatch has failed in Sandstorm. It's just that the maps weren't designed to facilitate it, and as a result, it just doesn't play very well. So talking with the community, the general consensus that I gather is that nobody asked for TDM. What'd you guys think? Meh? Uh, Nothing special? No. Yeah, it does feel like COD. In a nutshell. But now that it's here, it needs some serious looking into because of how severely unbalanced the game mode is. In my personal opinion, I honestly don't think that Team Deathmatch fits Insurgency. I always thought that Insurgency teetered on Tactical and Arcade, but with the addition of Team Deathmatch, it really feels like a Call of Duty mode. But I don't necessarily think that they need to get rid of it. It just seriously needs like a tune-up because it feels just very unbalanced. Speaking of game modes, Sandstorm seems to be lacking in that department. I find this very interesting because they really don't need to look that far. They could just go back to their original game and take all the game modes from there. The community actually started up a petition to try and get the game mode ambush into Sandstorm because apparently it's a big fan favorite. I looked at this petition and they have a long list as to why they would like this here because they like that game mode. It's literally called no ambush, no buy. And they have over 600 signatures. I don't honestly don't know how this petition is going to work out, but if you do want to sign the petition, it's down in the description. When I think Insurgency, I think about the co-op, which thankfully Insurgency Sandstorm nails, but my biggest issue is that they don't have enough maps to keep people interested. Like I said, they didn't have too many, you know, new maps coming out. I mean, a recent update came out saying that they're going to add two new maps and a map maker, which is good, but I feel like that should have been added in the beginning, you know? Another thing that they could have done, make it so that you could play on the same map, but at night. Where's the night vision goggles? Where's the tack lights? The original had all that stuff. The cool thing about having day and night maps is that it's kind of cheating because you're playing on the same map, but it feels like a different atmosphere, you know? Because you're forced to bring different gear that suits the map. The last thing that I want to say that this game seriously needs is mods. Mods are what keep games going. Just look at uh, the original Insurgency. I'm hoping that when that map maker comes out, they'll also add in mods so that people could just goof around with. But I guess we'll have to see. And that's pretty much all the main things that I would like, or I think that the game needs. But if there's anything that's on the side that I would like to see in the game, uh, can we get uh, Alex's voice in the, you know, in the game? You know, I would like to hear him yelling because it, it just doesn't feel the same without his voice in there. I'm just saying. That's just me. I fucking love this witty. I love this witty comments. Oh, I thought you were gonna fucking die. <laughs> Don't fucking laugh at that. Like, should I buy that for a DLC or something? Like a like a like a five dollar DLC? I get that. And what happened with the the single player? You know, the the single player story mode. I honestly thought that that was like a really cool idea, but they said that they canceled it, or they didn't say that they canceled it. They said that maybe later on down the road they would add that in, which I hope that they do because it seemed like a really neat idea, I and mean, I was actually looking forward to it. But then they said that they had to. So they originally cancelled it back in January, which I didn't even realize that they cancelled it until I actually asked about it. But they say that they could maybe bring it back, which I really hope that they do, because I think the game when it first launched was great, but with not that much content coming out recently, it just needs some more things, you know? Well, I thought that I would make this video just to tell the developers that we love your game, but it seriously needs some updates, you know? Get more content, you know? You gotta keep it fresh. So I can't wait to see what they have in the future going forward. But yeah, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye